idea today, folks. As you can see, Heather and I, we've been working at our door today. I'll show you exactly how that is looking. Not too, too shabby, I guess. So I have these little cleats just screwed there just to uh, hold it in place for now because I just got finished gluing the last few pieces. The door has to get lifted up a little wee bit. And it's going to get trimmed a little smaller once we put our door jams in around there. But that's how they're gonna look. Aside from them being uh, varnished, clear coated, I guess, polyurethane. And I'm going to router a little pattern right up there. The pattern, it's gonna be a little moon shape, I think, maybe with a little, uh, uh, you'll see. You'll see what'll be sitting on the moon there once I get it all done. Anyways, that's how the door is going so far. And this is all of our own lumber that we harvested this winter and milled. They've been drying lots this winter, so they're very, very dry. And these are just, uh, they're two inch thick. So we're going to take those off very shortly. We're gonna sand that all up nicely. There is not too much joints in between, as you can see. You certainly can't see through it, that's for sure. And as I sand it, I will mix up a little solution and I'll put in the cracks, uh, some sawdust and a little bit of glue just to fill that up and then we'll sand it the rest of the way and then we'll put a clear coat on it. Now these cleats, they are just uh, just parts of our uh, trim that we had left over. We have a lot more of that trim downstairs, but we do have, uh, you know, I had some left over, so I just used that to screw the door closed. Now we got the door all sanded up and I put it up in place there. Now that, this is the bathroom door obviously, but I will end up carving that in with my router. I'll carve that little pattern in there of her sitting on the moon. Obviously this door has to go up a little bit and over that little ways because I do need a space at the bottom sitting right on the floor right now. But I will shim that up once I get my threshold in there uh, and my door jam. So it has to be made a little bit narrower that's no big deal. And I have to clean up the edges a little bit, but not too bad. Anyways, that's how the bathroom door is going to look. We'll put our door handle in here. And then uh, I will router that in. Like I say, I will carve that in. Once that's all carved in, I will spray it all black. And then I will sand that down. And then I'll put a nice clear coat over the whole door once it's all done. So that is the door almost finished. And uh, that's just our local pine that we get around here that's already dead, dead and standing. As you folks know, I bring it home and I mill it with our little homemade sawmill. And uh, anyways, that's how the door is gonna look. I think it'll look not too, too bad. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, folks. Each one of our doors are going to have something carved in it like that. The bathroom has that, of course, like an old time outhouse. The bedroom door is going to have something carved into it. So the pantry door, the living room door, and all of our little cupboard doors will have patterns uh, carved into it as well. So you can see her sitting there on the, on the moon. So I will uh, do my best to carve that in there with my little, uh, either my Dremel or my little palm rotor. So I started carving this out this evening, but it's a little late, but uh, we had some things to do today, but I'm going to get back to it in the morning and I will clean all this out nicely. And then I will carve her feet, her legs and the other foot and then the rest of the body. And I will finish up here as well. And then once all that's carved out nicely, I'll use the Dremel for this. This year I use my little palm rotor. But once that is all done, I will give it a shot of uh, black spray paint all over that and I will sand it down and that should remain dark like this once it's all cleaned up and uh, we'll clean up the edges, make it fit nice and then we will install this door uh, in the next few days I hope. But that is how it's coming. <laughs> 